G'day guys, in this video I'm going to be summarizing for you constrained motion of connected particles. So consider this picture just here, where we've got this mass A and this mass B. How would you relate their velocities, accelerations, and displacements? Well, in order to do this, the first step to solve problems like this is to always define positions from a fixed axis. So in this case, two positions that we want to define here are the position of point A and the position of our mass B. So I'm going to define them from a fixed axis, and I'm going to choose this roof just here. We could have chosen a whole bunch of other points, but I'm going to choose this roof here because it's simpler. And I'm going to define this distance just here as a distance YA. It's the distance from this point to our mass A. I'm also going to define this distance right here as being YB. It's the distance from our roof towards our mass B. This is what I will call Y subscript B like this. Now, I'll show shortly that there's another um, an interesting point which we want to define as well, but for now, this is what we need. Now, the next thing we want to do to solve problems like this is to find the lengths of these ropes just here. So the lengths of this blue rope and the lengths of this green rope in terms of these variables we've defined. Let's begin by finding the length of this blue rope just here. Well, we know that the length of this part is just going to be YA minus this distance right here, which is a constant. So let's write this down. L1, so this is the length of this blue rope, is going to be equal to YA minus some constant. Now, I'm just going to write a plus C at the end to denote all the constants that are going to be making up this rope just here. So, so far, this length is YA minus this constant. Then we're going to add this to this constant, right? The radius of the drum is constant, so this length is going to be a, a, a constant length. And then we're going to add it to this distance just here. Now, what's this distance? Well, we'll need to define another position. Let's define this position just here as being y subscript 1, right? Now, the beautiful thing about doing this is we can just add y1 and, some, and then subtract this same constant again. So I'm just going to add y1 like this. Now once again, I'm, I'm going to include all the constants at the end, right? So, so far we found the length of all of this. Now let's find this. This is just going to be a constant. And then we'll need to add this distance here, which is y1. So then let's add y1 like this. And of course, at the very end, we've got all those constants, which we've added up like that. So this is our expression for our total length of our blue rope. Now let's consider the total length of our green rope. Well, let's call that L2, and let's find the length of it. Well, this distance right here is going to be YB, and then we're just subtracting this distance, which is going to be a constant. So it's going to be YB, that's going to be the length of this side of the rope, plus another constant, plus whatever this distance here is, which is going to be YB minus Y1 minus a constant. So it's going to be plus YB minus Y1, right? Let's see why that's the case. The distance from here to here is going to be this distance here to here, yb, minus this distance, minus this distance. Okay, so let's include all those constants at the very end like this. And to show that these aren't necessarily the same constants, let's give them subscripts like this. Okay, so we found the lengths of the rope. Now what do we do? Well, we differentiate. If we were to differentiate this top expression, what would we get? Well, the total length, L1 of this blue rope, is constant. So this turns into 0. What about this term? Well, you differentiate a variable, you're just going to get dya dt, which I will write as y dot subscript a. What happens when we differentiate these two terms? Well, they add together to form 2y1. So when we differentiate, this will become 2y1 dot. And of course, this is a constant. So when we differentiate it, it will become 0. What about this expression just here? Let's differentiate that. Well, on the left-hand side, it's the same story. The total length of this rope remains constant, so it'll become 0 when we differentiate. This will become yb plus yb when differentiated becomes 2yb dot. And what about this term? This becomes minus y1 dot. So now we've got two different equations which we can solve simultaneously to get ya in terms of yb dot. So let's do that. We know if we substitute out y1 from here, we will get 0 is equal to y a dot plus 2 times times y1 dot, which is going to be equal to 2 y b 
dot like this. And then we can simplify and our final expression becomes zero is equal to y a dot plus four y b dot. This is our equation relating the velocities of block A with the velocities of block B. Notice this isn't a formula you can apply in every particular case. You'll have to generalize a new equation for each individual scenario. I hope that made sense, guys. Cheers.